So I'm currently processing the video at 1 hour 49 minutes of the second part of the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. So I tried to replay a bit in the game and tried to load the same area again and it crashed again. So it wasn't possible to pass this area it would crash at the loading screen. But I moved the saves over to the UD version of the game. It has waivers graphics. The resolution is waivers. And in that version it worked fine to just uh, move past the area, the door, to the next area. There were no move or anything. There was just a new area. And so I moved the save again, and then I moved that save over to the Steam version with the better graphics. And now we should probably be able to start on the other side of the crash. So whenever the game crashes during the loading screen I will move it to the DVD version. And uh, then I save after the crash. Hopefully it will work. And if it doesn't, we will have to play on the DVD version instead. Okay. But that means we do not use Steam. Ah, so we can't load that area for some reason. With the Steam version. That's very weird. <coughs> okay. inside the DVD version you can see that the resolution is worse if I load this area where the game crashed you can see that this is the resolution of the DVD version it's way worse I do not have all of the mods installed maybe we can improve it by using some mods I don't know hopefully so the game would crash when trying to reach this area in the Steam version so I saved here and, ho and moved over the save file and hoped I could load it, but this area crashed anyway. So we'll have to play it on the DVD version for some reason. Fortunately, the graphics are worse here. With Star Wars Scooter 1 on DVD, I have a resolution mod. I have a resolution mod that will. <coughs> that will uh, allow us to, to have it in like uh, really good resolution even though it's on the DVD version but here we are forced to use very bad resolution if we play on this version of the game But the saves from the Steam version worked on the DVD version too. But uh, <coughs> the mod folder is way smaller. The override folder is at four, 14 gigabyte on Steam, and here it was at uh, only 100 something. So we do not have all the cold mods. Maybe the mod is causing it to crash. I don't know. Yeah, this is clearly worse. Are you all right? These were my quarters. I just need a second. This was my room. Hold on, I want to search this room. These were my quarters. This is your room? When? Before I lost consciousness and woke up on the Paragus, and I was on board of the Harbinger, or it's not important. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. Okay. We get some stuff here. Basic Ionite Edge. Pelsia Cons armband. Pelsia Cons data pad and med pack. So we, we are named Pelsia Con. We are requested to report to the Harminger Medical Bay for routine examination. The routine is automated. Simply insert this data pad into the medical computer to receive the injections. Alright. Survey gear. 
Okay, don't need that. We'll see a cone's armband. You want that? backed up the, the override folder of this version in case it's a mod causing the crash could be the, the steam version too I read that it's uh, unstable uh, so uh, we will move over all the mods from the other version to this version and then I will try to find uh, try to find uh, <coughs> we'll try to find uh, Graphical enhancements too. Double bladed sword, two to twelve. Use a bl double bladed sword, Kreia. Enemies here. I will try this one. Time to take you down to size. More where that came from. All right. Battle, but I think we lost one guy. It's down for the counting. Let's use some med pack. Him. It's there. This blast or it's magnetically sealed and cannot be opened. Prefer the UI here by the way. You have bigger text. The original resolution. It's not like the, the graphics. It's my reverse picture. Ah, 
I think here was where we couldn't move. Okay. Cylinder, we'll open it. Chemicals and battle stimulant. Take them. Start data patch check. Treatment request. Pelsiacon. Pelsiacon treatment request. Sedate is administered during routine examination. Treat about five days ago. Emergency override enacted. Sage exceeds safety protocols. During your last medical exam, you were administered a delayed sedative that would kill a normal human being. That must be what rendered you unconscious when the harbinger was taken out. Looks as if someone forgot to lock out the treatment request once administered. Still have access to one of the call to tanks in the medical bay. Identify the call to tank. Check medical logs, access logs, is wreckage report. Ever since we picked up that set firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their ships, and I can't reach people on the call. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. See survivor. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred. And I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, and then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. Okay, log out. Because we want to change the sound again. With ores could be maxed. Same with this stuff. Close down. Medical logs. Merge the road test. This is the medical officer. The soldiers sent to the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord. Alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Okay. Time to main console functions. Okay. Check camera recordings. Oh, that's the evil guy. From the ship. He'll break free, probably. Treat in your attempt to get chemicals from the medical computer dispenser. Yes. Medical logs. Look at. Okay, nothing to do there anymore. The enemies here. Repair react with the droid to repair parts. Medical droid. Don't know what it will do. Last battle, maybe. Lower and melee field. Let's see here. I'll check the others. Already have that equipped. 
got a lot of them. At least one. Whoever finished it. This um, resolution made the characters uh, come a little bit closer, which I like. Yeah, the droid will help in the back. Follow us around it, yeah. Med packing credits, we'll get them. Already be in here. device looks like an HK vocabulator unit that allows a droid to speak and communicate with others. Special upgrade item melee, damage bonus of one, oh yeah, damage bonus destroyed. I see, so we got some stuff we can use to upgrade items on a workbench. Never used those things in the old game. Upgrade item, I don't really know how they work. So a lot of upgrade items, okay. So to level up. Workbench. Skill required to create treating year eleven. Are you handed out? Grenades, stimulants, mines. Here, 
area or an old area we'll see. Probably new. I have a bad feeling about this. To stop saying that, or two, what's wrong? Three. Your bad feeling is going to be replaced by banning pain if you don't be quiet. Four, say your feelings for when we're out here. Or five, you shut up and keep moving. I like that the text is bigger on this version. But the, the overall quality otherwise is worse. Would you stop, would you stop saying that? What's wrong? What's wrong? Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. I do know that. You have to be careful then. So you have to keep moving. So your feelings for when you're out of here. You shut up and keep moving. Okay, we have to be careful then, but we have to keep moving. Alright, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. Atten has the special ability to sense anything that places him at risk. When he gets a bad feeling, it's recommended that you save your game. Okay, we might have a boss fight soon. New slot. Uh, old Kutor. what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly. Alright. We'll move forward. Can't move that way. Take that chest here, the foot locker. Broken 
item, Webber Blade. Credits, let's get them. Repair, reroute the maintenance control system. Open maintenance doors, the iron engines. Yeah. Look out. Experience points received, are 50. joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. <clears throat> so it's the only way to get around the sealed door and into the hangar where the Ebonhawk is. That you need to trust me. Come on. Three. The past few hours have been crazy in case you were sleeping. Now keep moving and stay here and die. We'll go for one. Alright. But I know I'm going to regret this. I sent you my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. He has a lightsaber. Easily cut her down. What's wrong? Are you alright? I can feel the other... Damn it, hold on! It's only oh a little farther! Don't give up on me now! What happened to you? My hand felt like it was being dipped in molten carbonite. Two, Kreia. I think she was wounded badly. But three, I don't know. We need to keep moving. Four, nothing. Let's, let's keep moving. We go for two. Huh? How do you know that? She can feel Kreia. I used to call it an instinct reaction. I think it was through the force. Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if sleeps with vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and decides to use us for practice next. Alright, let's go. And we will say the game in case we will get into trouble. Oh, we have the droid here. It's a utility droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. Alright. Um, so when we're close up like this, she almost looks better in this version. But, yeah, we, we need some mods activated to enhance gameplay and such. And to find out if it's the mods causing the crash on Steam. Because the, the graphics are still better on Steam, but I prefer having big text like this over having very small text that I can hold, hardly read because I'm sitting a bit away from the TV. I'm using the TV as the computer screen. One, I know we can. We ran into the prot protocol droid earlier. He attacked us too. Two, can you travel T3? Three, warm up your systems and let's go. Four, I may still have a use for you. Follow me. So this droid will probably join us. So we have three party members again. T3 has joined your party. He has the ability to make programming spikes on demand. And can also upgrade items if asked. Frontal and try added. Experience points received 100. Influence lost. T3 for M4. Okay. 
I hear you. And these guys have leveled up. We go to level them up. Keep the droid. Some stuff. Blaster. Okay. Annoying sound with the droid. Kit components hangar 25 control counter to conduit. Let's get them. So, shouldn't they be able to destroy that? Uh, they have to use the droid. Sinister team. cylinder, the steel cylinder. Yeah, Got some credits. Draw surveillance upgrade. Okay, let's check that. that we'll attack this one Say the word. Have to activate the shields.
Yeah, we've been here before. Good. Shields are good. Keep our human allies alive. Repair kit credits, adrenaline strength. Get everything. Now we'll return to the stairs. Shutdown emergency field exit ramp. Yes. Please press enter to cancel live feed and return. Yeah, look at. Got 110 experience. Right, we'll attack that throw down. Where that came from? Time to the odds. Let's Everyone down! Time to even the odds. Right. Draw a deflector mark one. And pack repair kit. You need to be prepared to use the repair kit with a droid. Here, here I have some remains. Got the med pack from it. We have a computer, access remote cameras, fuel line sensors, maintenance level, and to the droid maintenance area. Down to the main console functions, collapse system log, access remote cameras, log out. Time to take him down the side. Oh, got to level up. We'll do it. What is it? Why? Do you know about Paragus? I know we need to get out of here. Like I said, it's a minefield looking for any excuse to blow. Alright, can you tell me why you were locked up here, Lena? Let's skip that. If you can't move for some reason, let's change to her. Get the droid stuff, no. Nothing to get there.
This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Maybe the droid can. What? The console? Wow, slow down. Repeat that. It can go to the terminal and open it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? He said he can open the door to the hangar. He just needs to access the hangar terminal up on the platform. Two, the droid says he can open the hangar door by slicing the computer on the ramp above us. It goes How can you even understand that noise? One, I surveyed a lot of utility droids in the well many years ago. Two, I'll explain someday when we're not being chased by hundred or more stealthed sis killers. Uh, three, long story, not enough time. We'll go for one. All right. Well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Yeah, we'll move up there. Why can't I move with the droid? What the fuck? I, uh, no. Replace hangar control power conduit to open door. Turn to main functions. Says hangar logs. Says stocking and takeoff procedures. All incoming and, and outgoing fre freighters need orbital drift charts transmitted from Paragus. In order to navigate the asteroid fields around the mining colony. Without it, any vessel entering it or leaving Paragus is in danger of being destroyed in the asteroid field. Transmit asteroid orbital drift charts to Evan Hawk na Navy computer. Access hangar logs. Access log 25312, contraband. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well, to prevent further system compromises. The secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Alright, access log 25314, maintenance violation. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs. Especially with half the work shifts in medbay. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. Alright. Access log 253.17. Now a computer log. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. The maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Navi computer. It's been voice locked. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere, unless we rip out the Nava computer and put in a new one. If we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Nava computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers do that, or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. Time to make functions. Um, access remote camera controls. Hangar 25, where we have the Ebon Hawk, the main ship of the first game, M main cargo hold, security cargo room, we have a droid, the other droid from the, fr from the prolo prologue, then we have the, the contamination area, access comm system, and diagnostic on Damage systems. Look out. Attack the droids over there. Everyone down! <laughs> Out. 
Time to take you down to size. Okay. Still droids, we need to handle. Where would that came from? Pulsar. We'll move back. Check the other area first. Kill this droid. Time to even the odds. More where that came from. Alright, we won the battle. They have trouble moving again with the droid. So the chest, or the food cooker, take the stuff inside. Credits and broken item. All right. All right. We we're supposed to go the other way. chamber okay attempt to shut down the, the contamination system destroy the console to open the contamination door Fuck, that might have hurt us worked we lost Spin poison life the droid Me 
Med packs and repair kits. I hear you. Okay, we need to have antidotes. Idiot poison. Parkit and neural band. Okay. Hmm. Neural band. Strict that not disable the bookies. The six wheel plus. Developed after the XR can war. This item bolsters the willpower of the user. Okay. Ah, we don't need that for him. We might need it for this guy. Give it to the Jedi. Already taking this stuff. Save the game. In case we have battle soon. Here is the Ebon Hawk. Perfect. We might be ambushed here. This is the loading ramp to the Ebon Hawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Enter the Ebon Hawk or step away from the loading ramp. We'll enter it. Quick! We're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. Alright, I hated the uh, spaceship stuff in the first game. Very hard to shoot at ships and stuff. I always fail. Something happened at it. Ah, video. Company. All right, the system boarded the ship. Prepare to uh, repel the borders. All right. Four six assault troopers remain. Four six assault troopers remain. Yeah, so I understand. We, so we killed most of them, but four managed to get inside the Ebon Hawk. So we'll have to fight them. Okay, we'll save Ebon Hawk. Kill the sis troopers. Okay. 
Okay, level up, not the level. Good that we saved. Let's get out of here! Freya, your hand, what happened? How did you survive? Good thing you're right now, or we would have left you. Freya, your hand, what happened? There is no time. We must leave. Finally, the uh, beat this area. I was tired of these areas. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Ah, another free battle problem. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. <coughs> Some uh, look. Can you fly this thing or not? Isn't there anything you can do? Keep as much distance distance between them and us as you can, and we jump to hyperspace. Fire on the ast asteroids. Maybe the explosion will destroy them. Just do your best to keep your distance. We'll get out of this yet. Go for that. Can you jump to hyperspace? Now with all these asteroids around us, we'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field and they're gonna have a clear shot at us. Okay. Fire on the asteroids. Maybe the explosion will destroy them. Just do your best to keep your distance. We'll get out of this yet. <coughs> keep as much distance between them and us you can okay I'm doing all I can and that's not enough what'd you do to make these guys so mad well either they hit us and destroy us or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go Nova it's do your best to keep your distance we'll get out of this yet fire on the asteroids maybe the explosion will destroy them that'll take out the whole field the colony and maybe us we might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time then we die here choose now you don't have any choice, do it! Or, no, someone might still be alive in the facility. There's got to be another way. Keep evading them until we clear the field. And we'll try to jump to hyperspace. You don't have any choice, do it. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Finally, done with that area. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. The Harbinger was on its way to Telos. Why are these three uh, why are they Sith looking for me? How do we stop them? I've heard enough. None of this interests me. I'll go for two. Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. I am not a Jedi. Not any longer. I was exiled from the Jedi Order. Three. The next time someone calls my Jedi, they'll be lying in a pool of their own blood. Four. I've heard enough. None of this interests me. I was exiled from the Jedi Order. Uh, I'm not a Jedi, not any longer. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. But, last of the Jedi, that can't be true. What happened to the Jedi? The Jedi Order can't be gone. 
hidden enough. None of this interests me. But last of the Jedi, that can't be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What about the Jedi on Dantuin and Coruscant? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi, and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. If any survivors still live, they need to warn them. Then the Jedi are dead, gone. Good riddance, or hit enough, none of this interests me. If any survivors still live, we need to warn them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. For you said the Harbinger was on its way to kill us. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. <clears throat> Ron, how did you know I was on board on the Harbinger? Two, can you explain how you tracked me down? Three, looks like I don't, looks like I didn't cover my tracks well. Four, I, be, uh, I am. <clears throat> okay. How did you know I was on board on the Harbinger? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. <clears throat> How come I don't remember any of this? That's an unusual set of coincidences. How did we get to Paragus? Hidden, yeah. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. That's an unusual set of coincidences. How did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. It says he repaired the ship and got us to Paragus. Part of silence, didn't you hear? Another beep out of you and your scrap. You'll go for Repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's gonna claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get! This all seems li like an unusual set of coincidences. Uh, two, we got away from the seas. Now, how do we stop them? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. <clears throat> One, if you don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. Two, they're eager to fight, fight us. I, I say we fight back. Three, so what do you think we should do? Four, yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Look, enough with the Wii already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons allies and a teacher in the end i fear it may not be enough one what do you mean two but we have no other choice three an enemy can be fought and killed four I will not run from the sith or anyone one. you fought in the mandalorian wars and it cost you everything are you willing to sacrifice as much again Mandal the mandalorian wars were my choice these Sith threaten me, then they die. This is self-defense, not war. We must stop them. There's no other option. Is there some place we could hide or run to? One. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. And I have nothing to lose now. How bad could it be? What, too? 
turned away from war once, I can do it again. Three, if I do not try, then we have lost anyway. Four, a Jedi's life is sacrifice, it's a small price to, play, to pay. Five, if evil is not fought, then we sacrifice the galaxy. Six, only the Sith will pay the price for crossing me. <clears throat> a Jedi's life is sacrificed. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. <clears throat> One, she seemed well enough for someone who had just lost her hand. Two, I'm sure she can take care of herself. Three, you're right, she may need help. Can you handle things up here? Four, I'll go check on her then. Journal and try added experience points received 1000 light side points gained. Got a lot of experience points. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger. Yeah, he'll do that. unit. This looks like the remains of an HK unit, but older and more corroded than the one you encountered on Paragus. Its power core still carries a charge, but a number of critical parts appear to be missing. Repair diagnosed the droid. Looks as if the droid is missing four critical components. Its droid processor, placement droid chases, control cluster that's supposed to be stored in, its, in the chassis and its vocabulator. Take the vocabulary and, and insert it into the core. We have installed the droid's vocabulator. Step away. So we can probably get the team member that looks like this, that is an assassin droid, but we can't get him before we have all the parts. We have given him the part we got from the other assassin droid that tried to kill us, but still miss a few here we have the bench Good use for now. There was something else I needed. 
Never mind, I'll be going now. So we got some computer spikes from the droid. Should be over here, somewhere. Freeze at the yellow spot. Item security spike, tunneler, sonic rifle, credits, advanced med pack, sack card, Jedi robe, nice. We got a lot of stuff here. Jedi robe. Let's go for it. We have a Jedi robe now. Not have a Jedi weapon. More on guard. X. Vibro blade. Vibro cutter. Leveled up. Here we have the character so light and dark side, she's in the middle. She looks better with the Jedi robe, but they do not have any lightsabers, so that sucks. Still use the Jedi robe. Build HK for the seven bonus mission. Then we'll get the new character probably. Save the game here. And I felt it too. Your hand, is there anything I can do? If you refer to your hand, the choice was yours. And when you lost your hand, I felt it too. That does not surprise me. Any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. <clears throat> if I could, I would have protected you. Sorry for your loss. Consider the pain on less than four. If I felt the loss of, you, on you, of your hand, what would have happened if your, you had died? Uh, if I could, I would have protected you. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. Okay, one. Looks to me like you're the one who needs help. Two. Seems to me you need to learn to listen. Three. If we travel together, then we need to work together. Four. If I felt the loss of your hand, what would happen? have happened if you had died. Uh, I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. More extreme? I feel like my hand was dipped in molten carbonite. Two. Like what consequences? Death. Okay. One. Then the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that, though much quicker. Quicker? Would it have killed me? Would it have been lethal? Saying my life is tied to yours. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. <clears throat> One, what can we do? I don't want my actions to place you at risk. Two, then we'll work together. Try to be careful until, until we can fix this. Three, 
This link is a threat to me and an inconvenience. We need to sever it now. Four. At your age, you could die at any moment, especially considering the way you act. Nine. I will not allow my life to be tied to some half-dead, delusional old woman. Uh, what can we do? I don't want my actions to place you at risk. Then we'll work together and try to be careful until we can fix this. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragas. How could this bond have happened? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. <clears throat> you and Kreia possess the force chain special ability. When either of you use the force, uses the force power on yourself, the other gains the benefit as well. A powerful technique indeed, though as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. So what do we do now? I need to know more about the Sis hunting us. When we were on Pergus, I could feel the force again. Can you tell me what has happened since the Mandalorian Wars? Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. Tell me about the Mandalorian Wars. It is a tale you already know well. Almost a decade ago, the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. The Jedi Council didn't help. Only a few of the Jedi Knights did. The Jedi Council agreed, but did not move fast enough, so we had to. But only some Jedi Knights answered the call, like I did. There are other questions I wish to ask you. Uh, but only some Jedi Knights answered the call, like I did. Indeed. The Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian threat as the outer rim burned. And Revan and Malak refused to wait. I know this part, what happened after the war. I want to know about Revan and Malak. There were other questions, huh? As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. <clears throat> and that was the Jedi Civil War. Uh, what happened next? Didn't the Jedi Order try to stop them? There were other questions. What happened next? Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. How were Malak and the Sith defeated? As all Sith do without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. But what happened to Revan? No one knows. Certainly not I. Korriban lies in ruins, Revan is gone, and the blade of war she promised to stab into the heart of the galaxy has withdrawn. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. So Revan saved the Republic. You're saying Revan abandoned the war. Revan turned against Malak for the sake of the Republic. There were other questions. So Revan saved the Republic. It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. Then we must do what we can until it has a chance to recover from the war. 2. If the Republic is weak, they didn't deserve to win. 3. Malak and Revan should have crushed the Republic. Where I am. 1. Then we, do, then, we, then we must do what we can until we, it has a chance to recover from the war. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. Anything be done to help the Republic. The Republic has avoided its fate for too long. Let them burn. 
Perhaps it's better. The Republic stands on its own. Uh, one. Uh, one. We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. Entire planets were decimated. Their inhabitants dead, or refugees. It is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. The threat is directed at me. What do you mean? Because I'm the last Jedi. Because I'm the last Jedi. The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. <clears throat> one, there were other questions I wish to ask you. Two, this is a lot to take in at once. I need time to reflect on this. One, ask, and I will answer. So what do we do now? Two, I, I need to know more about the Sith hunting us. So, one. So what do we do now? I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought. And they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. There must be some place we can go. It does not matter where we go. It is not the destination that matters. It is the journey. All paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be. And no matter how strongly we fight against it. For now, we are bound for Telos. And that is enough. <clears throat> Where are we bound again? Enough for what? There were other questions I wish to ask you. Ask. Uh, I need to know more about the Sith hunting us. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. First split? There was another Jedi Civil War. Sith were once Jedi. There were other questions. First split? Yes. The Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it, as Malak did. So, so these Sith continue the crusade. These Sith seem different. Are they following Malak's path? <coughs> there, were, there were other questions, yeah. So these Sith continue the crusade. These Sith seem different. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. One. <clears throat> I've never seen Sith assassins like Sith assassins like those on Harbinger. Two, if those Sith assassins are the best the Sith have to offer, we have little to fear. Three, Sith on Paragus use some force techniques, but they were extremely weak. Four, they were I am. <clears throat> if those Sith assassins are the best the Sith, yeah, we'll go for one. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith Assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger. 
when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes, or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. Alright, there are other questions I wish to ask you. This is a lot to take in at once. I need to reflect on this, we'll go for more. Ask. Um, okay. When we were on Paragus, I could feel the force again. Indeed. And was it the same as before? No, it felt different, faint, or two. It was like a whisper at the edge of hearing. Three, there were other questions. No, it felt different, faint. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. Wait, the Jedi did this to me? Two, if they were responsible, they had no right. Three, I don't believe the Jedi would do such a thing. One. Wait, the Jedi did this to me. What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? One. It's not possible to cut one off from the Force. It's like defending someone. It's like defending someone or blinding them. Two. But to, to cut one off from the Force, it's like losing all your senses at once. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own, and exiled them as they did you. Alright, one. I don't believe the Jedi would in inflict such a punishment on someone. Seems too cruel. Two. Then there must be a way to reverse what they did. Three. If the Jedi were not already gone and dead, they would end their lives for doing this to me. Four. There were other questions. Yeah. Two, then there must be a way to reverse what they did. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. You said it's possible, how? Slim is better than one, none. The Force, we can feel it again, if only slightly. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. <clears throat> One. But there are no more Jedi. Two. I will honor whatever training you wish to give me. Three. You. Train me. You can barely stand. Four. I am my own master. I have no need for teachers or of teachers. Um, too, I will honor whatever training you wish to give me. Do not honor me, fallen Jedi. Honor it by listening and learning. Do that, and perhaps we shall survive this thing, you and I. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. I would welcome whatever aid you offer, but too, I accept you, uh, you as a teacher for now. Three. If your training brings me power, then I will listen. Four. I have no use for mentors, but a servant, yes. Five. A long-winded skull in my thoughts is enough. Leave me be. Uh, so... I would welcome whatever aid you offer. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you, through my words and presence. One. There are other questions I wish to ask you. Ask. Can you tell me what happened since the Mandalorian Wars? Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. Mm, tell me what happened after the war. I want to know about Revan. As you know, Revan and Malak went to war against the Mandalorians, and you followed under Revan's banner. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them... I think I've seen this. I enough. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. <clears throat> the fool has a name. I'd like you to start using it. It's not a fool, but he does feel odd to me. Atten isn't so bad, just, well, maybe he is. 
crack his skull into the bucket if he tries. Will do. I'll go see him now. Yeah, but I want a lightsaber. In the first game, you got it very late on the planet for Corbin. If I, I'm not wrong. Or it was Dantin. There's the droid. Ah, we went the right How's way. our passenger? She's still aging? <clears throat> Cryptic as always. For someone without much to say, she sure says a lot. Seems fine, you just need some rest. Well, she sure could use it. It might do wonders for her mood, too. She's lucky she's a Jedi. Or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once. But it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Good looking? Are you that desperate? To if she looks good to you, you must have taken a blaster hit when I wasn't looking. Hard living? Yeah. Her face looks like it was plowed by crazed Ord Mantell farmers. Don't tell me you were too distracted by her personality to notice. <clears throat> One, look. Ease off the insults. She was wounded helping us escape, remember? Two, never mind. I wanted to ask you some questions. Three, are we still on course for Tellus? Four, let's focus on getting to Tellus for the time being. Five, just cut the shatter and stick to the piloting. We'll go for three. Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Never mind, I wanted to ask you some questions. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, I respect your privacy. I mean, when have I ever asked you any questions? I mean, besides that one. Did you mean about the galaxy map not being much use? Do you know anything about the assassin droid? No, not much. Except sounds like it was after you. As far as I'm concerned, you handled that pretty well. No more droid, no more problem. What would make droids go crazy like that? Since when do protocol droids collect bounties? Bounties? Um, who would build an assassin droid to come after me? Beats me. Sounds like you're pretty popular. If it was built to hunt you down, that is. Could have been around before you even appeared on the scene. What would make droids go crazy like that? Since when do protocol droids collect bounties? <laughs> yeah, well you got me there. Look, droids, I don't trust them. That one we fought? Some of them are built like that. Others just, well, break. In the head. Sometimes conflicting orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it to do something it can't do, it'll crack their behavior module in half. Others just don't get memory wipes and they start going crazy. Speaking of which, I think that little trash compactor is long overdue. <laughs> Trust me, droids were made to break. And most of all, they're predictable and stupid. One, what did you mean about the galaxy map not being much use? Well, the astrogation system is voice printed and locked down, but that T3 unit is doubling as the astrogation system. You can try to plot a course, but without that T3 unit to perform the calculations, you'd probably plow us into a star. As long as he doesn't steal the ship, we should be alright. Well, who voice printed the astrogation system? I have no idea. Previous owner, maybe? I'd love to get it overhauled, but that's a major job. Besides, the droid will be good enough for now. Well, why would someone lock the astrogation system? Takes all kinds. Maybe someone didn't want anybody taking the ship out of the system, or knowing where the ship had been. Smugglers do it all the time in case the Republic decides to board them. Or, so I hear. One. Do you know anything about that assassin droid? Who always printed the astrogation system? I have no idea. Previous own. Okay, forget it. So? What happened? One to what? They're talking about... Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? One, exiles aren't allowed to keep their lightsabers. Two, my lightsaber was taken from me by the Council. Three, a Jedi is not defined by their weapon. Uh, let's leave my lightsaber out of this. Okay. Okay, uh, one. Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. 
Were you a single hilt or one of those double bladed Jedi? It was a single hilt or double bladed. I don't remember and I don't care. It was a single hilt. Huh. Figures. It wasn't red, was it? One. Actually, it was. The crystal was redder than the than a Lagrex eye. Two. Both the blade and crystal were unique. Three. It has been so long I've forgotten its color. Four. I can barely remember when it used to feel what it used to feel like. Much less look like. And I couldn't care less if I ever remember. Actually, it was. The crystal was redder than a Lagrex eye. Great. Maybe you and that Sith Lord can have a party after we're dead. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. Run. It is no matter. It was taken from me long ago. Two. I think, uh, I think having it would just drive them to hunt me harder. One. It is no matter. It was taken from me long ago. Alright. Forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Yeah, I will try to get the mods uh, into the game. I had a lot of mods. I don't remember what all of them did. So we'll try that. Some of them probably improve the graphics and such. Might come a bit more beautiful. Ebon Hawk. Paragus 2. Tell us. Let's travel to tell us. Hopefully I won't have to fight uh, free. Thinks we reached the destination. Caused the explosion? Uh oh, here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. All right, one, we're under arrest. Two, we didn't have anything to do with that. Three, how long will this take? Okay. Um, how long will this take? Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Will I be able to, to get my gear back? I understand. This is outrageous. You don't have any evidence. You are the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. Will I be able to get my gear back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? I do, I'll cooperate. No, why are you holding us? Three. TS TSF. Can't hold me for anything. We're leaving right now, do you understand? I do, I'll cooperate. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. That's a young Jedi that will join us. Unfortunately, he has short hair. I never liked short hair. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. I 
understand. Wait, has some questions. Three, force cage. This is ridiculous. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment. Residential module. It too. I understand. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. With a new dress. To Garriere Road. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Run, you're wrong. I'm no Jedi. Two, what's going on? Three, let me out of this cage and we'll see how disappointed you are. Okay. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. <coughs> Run, we're in a TSF station. How do you expect to get away with this? Two, where are you here? Three, let's get this over with. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. I don't wish to fight you. Your body is starting right here. Your body is staying right here. Let's get this over with. Run. I don't wish to fight you. Easier for me then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Alright, we'll have to fight him. We'll save the game. This is a new look. I don't know what we are carrying. I see. Clothing equipped. Just a random dress. I see they took the real gear. So, push. And then we can attack. Whoa! It was easy to defeat. The security cameras are. What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, who is that? Is that Batu Ram? One, he said he was an assassin. Two, no, he was an assassin. It's a good thing I didn't have to depend on you for protection. Three, impressive. You allowed an assassin to infiltrate your ranks. Three. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. One, what's going on to happen now? How did he manage to sneak in here? Three, I'm glad someone noticed that only that only after he tried to kill me. We've arranged for an apartment in residential module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Let's go. Or great. Another investigation. Or three. The best of your ability. That's not very inspiring. Okay. Let's go. Officer! 
at Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Well, how long will I, will I be here? Get out. Well, I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragus facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to leave? Let's not discuss this now. We'll go for one. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. To a sink, Kreia. We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Rest. Ring, ring. Yes? Have you come with questions? Uh, never mind, there we go now. Except call. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Ithorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Yes, please send him. What does he want? No, I don't wish to speak to him right now. What does he want? He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Fine, send him in. Very well. I'll let him in now. Thank you for seeing me. I am Mosa and I have come to see you on behalf of Shoda Havad. What is this about? Our leader here. What is this about? What does Shoda want me? Why didn't he come himself? Why didn't he come himself? As our leader, he has many times before him and regrets that he could not come himself. He means no offense by sending me his chief assistant. Does Shodo want with me? Are you familiar with the restoration project? Or tell us. No. Could you explain it to me? The surface of Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War a few years ago. This Citadel Station is part of Republic's plan to restoration project. Citadel Station uses energy fields to seal off portions of the planet's surface. Then, yeah, it's difficult to read every you have to pause the video and read it yourself. Okay, recently, however, we have run into contention with the corporation known as Circa. Perhaps you have heard of our recent troubles. No, what troubles have you heard? Have you had? Victorians are well known as ecologists and agriculture engineers. The Telosian government asked to resolve my heart help. Transport at first. Public funeral as January 1st. project. So how could I help? Could, could, could you get the point? Heal 
Me. Perhaps Chodahabad should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. He endured it out, and he behind Gorubia. I speak with your leader when I'm freed. First game was better, in the end then it comes now to aliens. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Because uh, you can hardly read all the text before they change to a new uh, to a new text in the first game I believe you had uh, a lot of time to read and uh, decided yourself and you wanted it to continue that was better at least for a uh, non-English speaker like me now uh, perhaps we'll be able to rest uninterrupted ring ring Ronald entry added Answer. Except call. Good day. I am B4D4, administrative assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am Jana Lorso. Why are you calling? I understand that you were approached by an Athorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Imposed guilt? I don't recall him threatening me. One? Yes. They play at being downtrodden innocents, having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. A sort of rumors. Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi, one of the last. Wanted by the Exchange, and who knows how many other organizations, for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi, and your standing with them, have no bearing on this discussion. I don't recall him threatening me to go on. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. How are the Torians in the way of things? What sort of work are we talking about? Come by when I can. To I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Come by when I can. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation. And I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Rest. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well... Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present.
I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragas facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. Why is the Republic sending a ship? To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. How long will I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route. Likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. One is the Ebon Hawk still impounded. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. What about my T3 droid? After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off this station. Whether it's the Evan Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. One, you know, that's from experience. Two, why do we need to leave? Three, what do you think of Kreia? Four, let's not discuss this now. We go for three. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still. There is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? One, stay or explore, tell us. We need a ship. Let's find Ebon Hawk. <clears throat> Two, why don't we ask the Republic for help against the Sith? Three, other Jedi. Shall we see if I can find anything out here? It is unlikely, but we shall see. Shall not let try, added. Yes. Have you come with questions? Yes. One, I want you to teach me more about the Force. Very well. What is it that drives you? One, this bone we share. I would not know more about it. One. Two, I want to build a lightsaber. Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? To defend you and my allies, because I feel naked without it. Three, it represents power. That, and that it can help me slaughter enemies quicker, faster. Four, the lightsaber is a symbol of the Jedi. It's, it's, it inspires others, gives them hope. To defend you and my allies... Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi, or a Sith, and at times, it makes them much, much less than they are. <clears throat> but how do I make one? The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Upon our journey, the pieces shall fall into place. I want you to teach me more about the Force. Very well. What is it that drives you? <clears throat> this bond we share would know more about it. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. What about when we fight on our journey? When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. <clears throat> I want you to teach me more about the Force. I had other questions. Ask. Do you know anything about the Sith who pursue us? Nothing more pursue than you already know. And anything else I know would be useless. There is danger in such knowledge, even if I was certain of the ones who hunt you. I had other questions. Ask. Never mind. We go now. Something up. Uh, I had some questions for you. Alright. What did you want to know? Can you teach me to play Pesak? 
All right, but I'm out of credits, so it's Republic Senate rules. Republic Senate rules? That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to beat each other. But in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like stalemate, except the goal is to pass time until the audience gets bored and leaves. Can you go over the rules first? Sure. Shouldn't be a problem. It's basically a numbers <laughs> game, but I can give you the ground rules. Note, the rules for Pasak will show up in your completed quests section on your journal screen whenever you need to access it. Before each Pasak match, you must select 10 cards to form your side, side deck. Four of these cards will be randomly drawn to form your hand during the match. Never like the card games in games like this, you know, Final Fantasy VIII, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, etc. etc. Okay, we'll just skip this. face-up cards total higher than your opponent's hand, without exceeding a total of 20. If a player's total is greater than 20 at the end of a turn, a bust, the opponent wins the set. Player must win 3 sets to win the match. Characters, four with a droid, and they've taken our gear. We'll end here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. I might have modded the game the next time I run this game. Okay, we are not using the Steam version here, we are using the DVD, and I will probably continue to use the DVD, it's more stable. We'll see when I have added the mods from the other version if this version is still stable or if it's actually the mods causing the crashing. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Bye.